It's it. Oh! It is Jake from the football fan scene and we are back at Brisbane Road. We're in E10. It's a snowy one. As you can see, it's been snowing in London for about a week. Still hasn't gone, but there are two games on in League 2 today. And one, of course, is at Brisbane Road. Late in Orient, top of the table. Five points clear of Stevenage with a game in hand. We will play today. Chance go eight points clear. Chance go 17 points clear of Mansfield Town in the playoffs. It is all going to be about winning today. It's mid-table Sutton who come here. A bit of a London derby. Or already have beaten Sutton in the Papa John's Trophy. It is Richie Wellens looking to get one final win before Christmas. It's Leighton Orient versus Sutton United. The Christmas songs are playing and we're in. Snow all over the side of the pitch. The teams are warming up. You have to say, brilliant from the ground. And to get this game going, there was a heated dome over the pitch to make sure that today's game would be played. We are here, it's Orient versus Sutton. One change for the O's, one change for Sutton. George Moncur, we understand, is ill. So Aaron Dryden comes in. That could be a 4 4 2 with him joining Kelman. He could be out wide with Smith playing in the 10 role that Moncur would normally play in. For Sutton, Harry Beautyman returns. Once on the books of late in Orient, he returns. First start for him in two months. He's a key player for them. Mid table, 4 5 1 for them. They're going to try just sit for straight Orient like Newport did. And they're going to try probably get a point. They're not going to be coming for three points. But there's a Christmas vibe around here. It's late in Orient. It's a Saturday night. With Brody and Finley today, it's a big game. Brody, score prediction 4 2. 4 2, Kelman wow. Hat Kelman hat trick. Finley. 2 0 to Orient. 2 0 O's. Paul Smith. Yeah. So if Jordan Brown, well, he hasn't scored this season. Hopefully today's the day. Enjoy the game, boys. Well, there's snow on rooftops. There's snow on the side. Temperatures below zero for today's Sky Bet League Two game between Sutton United and Leighton Orient is on. Craig Eastman leads out Sutton. It's Darren Prattley, of course, who leads out the Orient. It's Orient versus Sutton. I said 3 1. Fans are driven to score today. Same with Kelman. Jamie, score prediction. Uh, 2 0. 2 0. We're all feeling optimistic. Orion versus Sutton. Come in the race. We're ready for kickoff. No one's taking the knee. Where are we? Yeah. Well, the ref blew to take the knee. No one took the knee. It's a bit weird. But it's going to be Darren Prattley to kick off this game for the O's chance to go seven clear at the top. Sutton are in town. And here we go. Pretty decent turnout from Sutton. Probably ranking about the average of what away fans have come to Brisbane Road this season. So it looks like from the opening couple of minutes it is a 4-4-2. Moncur obviously isn't playing so no one in the 10, Drillin and Kelman are up front. Archibald one side, Paul Smith on the left. Tom James with a long throw. It's towards Beckles. So two men on him. Oh! Oh! It's a red! What? What? Jamie says he had two eyes on it. Jack Rose seems to drop the ball. Free kick, on the attack is Will Randall. Inside, one back, counter now, Prattley. And he's released Theo Archibald. He's been running with him. Archibald, lovely run across. Positive run though from Aureus, number 11. It was Archibald. Oh, good work. Oh! It's gone down, no foul. Tried to slip it into James, it just didn't work. Good play from Archer, dude. Hope he's okay. Brilliant play from Paul Smith. He's still going, and he's still got it, Smith. Cross. Oh! Flick wide by Charlie Kelman. It's a really good attack. Best yet. All came from Paul Smith down the left. Big chance. Couldn't be taken by by Kelman. Trillers run it back on the wing. But John Witham, running across, Kelman, it is hit by Archibald. It's a great 
great block by Kizzy. But Orient, they're getting in. Kelman's won it back. And he's driving forward, Charlie Kelman. Kelman's still going. On and on. Oh, red! It's a free kick. Just on the edge of the box. What a fantastic run by Charlie Kelman. Won the ball back on halfway. He just ran the length of the pitch, really. That's a free kick right on the edge of the box. Brilliant work from Charlie Kelman. Starting just delaying this now. Everyone back inside that box, defending it to the team in yellow. Big moment, this. Yeah, it doesn't look like 10 steps. Here we go then. Archibald or James for Leighton Orient. Blows the whistle to the Archibalds. Lovely feet, lovely feet from Kelman. Smith. Runs it Eastman. It's in! Oh! It's a corner. A goal saving tackle by John. Or by Charlie Kelman who opened the score. Bottom's on the line from Sutton. Back clear. And it's half time. Or it is Sutton Hill. I think we've been a better team. We have been a better team. We've had all the ball. Sutton have offered nothing up front, but I was right, they're just kind of, they're going to try to frustrate us, that's what they've done pretty well. They've got bodies on the line, obviously. Kelman's run, was it in the box? I don't know, free kick was given, Archer was rattled the woodwork, it was a brilliant hit. And other than that, Sutton have really just been putting their bodies on the line, and had some brilliant blocks. Kelman had one brilliantly blocked by John. So, Sutton are just coming in for a point here. Had no real attack forward, they've got no intentions of winning this game as of yet, so... He's got to break them down in the second half, really. I think, obviously, that Moncur, a bit driven, and Kelman up front. But no one running from this field. That's what Moncur would do. He'd run with the ball, but it's a very physical Sutton side. So, they play in the air to and they keep winning the ball. So, it's going to be interesting to see what Richie Reynolds does in the second half. It's half time, or in the middle, Sutton United. Daniel, thoughts on that? Yeah. 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 Everything has come from this side. Very true. Not my side. My side. And I think if you keep playing like this, you'll definitely get a goal in your team. I think you've scored, scored a bit of a second half. Still free. Yeah. Yeah, I think he raises a good point. Down the left, Smith there, Kelman's doubling up. There's a lot of space, right? It's bold line. They're right back. He isn't actually a right back. He's normally paid on the wing, so there is space down there, but. I still feel we need to bring on someone like Duke McKenna, someone like Satiri can run with the ball from midfield. So, we're going along with playing Sutton's game. They want to be physical, they want to win the ball in the end. Get the ball down on the floor, play, and hopefully find a win in the second half. No changes from either side. It's going to be Alistair Smith for Sutton United to kick off the second half. Let's see if those yellows can hold that or in attack out for 45 more minutes. All set and ready for kickoff. Second half, something after that. This is really bad to see. Baron Prattley's afternoon is over. Leo's captain here. He's come off, and now Vigor is down as well. Oh no, I think he's just done that because Prattley's injured. Clever from Vigor. That is a big, big blow, eh? Baron Prattley injured. This is clever from Vigaroo because he's just going to waste a bit of time in order to get Rob Hunt back onto this pitch. And there'll be Hunt at left back, James at right back, and Brown to move into midfield. But that's a huge loss to lose the captain, Darren Prattley. We hope he's okay. Trinan trying to flick it around. Archibald. Oh, Smith. It's it. Oh! Unbelievable goal. Touch his side. 
side, bends it into the top corner. Orion one, got it now, the breakthrough. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Well, as you would expect, a standing ovation for Paul Smith. It is his absolute worldie. He separates the two sides. And he's going to be replaced by Rui Couturier. It's on James Longstone. I think he'll aim for Beckles. He's up from the back as usual. Drennan takes it down. Three men on him. Clay. Oh! That's what I see! another win we're now seven points clear of Stephen Nugent at the top ahead of a massive game live on Sky Sports here in our next game rocking all over it has been a pleasure to broadcast this game it's finished all in two Sutton nil and the O's go further clear at the top the last game for Christmas top of Christmas 51 points for me for Noah who couldn't be here today from everyone associated with football fans wish you very very merry Christmas We'll see you in the next one.